Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little dress for baby girls between 12 and 18 months old. Now, you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. I will also leave the link to the diaper cover to baby hats and booties already in my channel so that you can complete this little set. I will also leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 5mm crochet hook, and today I'm using this Style Craft Special Erin yarn. You can also use any number 4 yarn or 10 ply. Here, to begin, I have a total of 41 chains. This chain here is measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. Now, if your chain is off by 1 or 2 centimeters, it's okay, just continue. So here, to continue, into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, I'm going to make a double crochet. These two chains here at the beginning do not count as a stitch. Now, in total, I'm going to make five double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's two, three, four, five. Now, chain one, into the next nine chains, make one double crochet on each one. This is going to be for the sleeves, and here where we did the chain, we just created the first corner. So here I'm just going to continue and make these nine double crochets for the sleeve. Let's see, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets, chain one. Now into the next 11 chains, make one double crochet. This here is the second corner, so continue and make these 11 double crochets. So continue and make these 11 double crochets, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 11 double crochets. This here is for the back side. Now chain one, and into the next nine chains, we're going to make a double crochet. This chain space here is the third corner. That's one double crochet into the next. That's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now chain one and into the next chain, make a double crochet. This chain space here is the fourth corner. Now I'm going to finish here by making these last five double crochets. That's three, four, five. And here's the first row. Now we have divided the sleeves, the front panels, the back side, and the other sleeve. For each one of the front panels, you should have five double crochets. For each one of the sleeves, you should have nine double crochets. And for the back side, you should have 11 double crochets. So at the end of this first row, you should have 39 double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. They're just there so that when we finish the yoke, there's a nice straight line here. Now, before we continue, I recommend that you put a stitch marker inside each one of the chain one spaces. If you like, it might be easier uh, to do the next couple rows. So here, to begin on top of the first double crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet and one double crochet on each one of these double crochets until I come to the first corner. So, so far I have three double crochets. That's four and five. Now inside this first corner, you're going to make a fan. 
Each one of the fans is going to consist of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And now we're going to continue for the sleeves and make one double crochet on top of each one. So beginning on top of this first double crochet for the sleeve, make a double crochet, then continue and make one double crochet on top of each one. Let's see, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine double crochets. Inside this next corner, make your fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of this second row. Now continue and do the same thing inside each one of these two corners and then finish this second row. I will meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. At the end of this second row, I have 55 double crochets. From here on, we're going to be adding 16 stitches at the end of every row, and you're going to do exactly the same thing I did on the second row from here on. So to start you off, you're going to chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet and continue like this until you come to the first corner. I have three double crochets, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Here's my first corner inside this chain one space. You're going to make your fan, and this is what you're going to do on each one of the corners. Here's my fan. Now continue along for the sleeve and work one double crochet on each one of the double crochets and when you come to the next corner do the same thing I just did here and that's all we're going to do for the rest of this row at the end of this third row you're going to have 71 double crochets then you're going to chain two turn and then repeat the same thing now from here on I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the yoke but continue watching I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do and continue watching uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you the number of stitches that you're going to have from here on so that you can have the exact number of stitches at the end of every row from here on so continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I need to make one more row for the yoke, so I'm going to show you that next. The last row that we did together was the third row. At the end of the third row, you had 71 double crochets. At the end of the fourth row, 87 double crochets. And at the end of this fifth row, I have 103 double crochets. Now, for the sixth row, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain two and turn. Now, beginning on top of these two double crochets into the first and the second make a double crochet now chain one skip the next double crochet and into the next make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and this is all i'm going to do until i come to the first corner Here's the first corner. Skip this last double crochet for this front panel and inside this chain one space, make a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now to start the next section, chain one, skip this first double crochet and into the next, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one and into the next double crochet, chain one. This is how I'm going to continue until I come to the second corner so that I can show you once again what you need to do into each one of the corners. Okay, here's the last double crochet, chain one, and inside this corner, make your fan. Now 
Now you're going to continue on your own. So here, chain one, skip this first double crochet and into the next one here, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one and into the next double crochet, chain one. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this sixth row. Inside each one of the corners, you're going to do the same thing I just did here. You're just going to make a fan. Continue, finish the sixth row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Here to finish, I have one last double crochet. On top of this last double crochet, make a double crochet. Now, at the end of this sixth row, I have 67 double crochets and the yoke is done. That's what it looks like. Now, this part here right across, it's measuring about 10 centimeters, which is about four inches. So the yoke is done. I also went ahead and uh, changed color here. I'm going to continue with this raspberry red color. So here to continue in the next row, row one, we're going to divide the sleeves. So to do this, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make a double crochet on top of the next a double crochet and into the chain one space here make a double crochet i'm going to continue like this until i come to the first corner so here i have four double crochets that's five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 double crochets. Now inside this first corner, make three double crochets. So here for this front panel, I have 18 double crochets. So it's 15, 16, 17, 18 double crochets. Now to divide the sleeve, we're going to chain two. We're going to skip these double crochets here. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. And inside this second corner, we're going to make three double crochets. Now we're going to continue and work one double crochet for each one of these double crochets and inside the chain one space, we're also going to make double crochets. Continue here and I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve. Okay, I finished making these double crochets. From here to here, I have 34 double crochets. Now inside this third corner, we're going to make three double crochets. Now chain two, skip two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 double crochets. And inside the fourth corner here, make three double crochets. And this is how we're going to divide the second sleeve. Now continue for this first row and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. I have a total of 73 double crochets. Each one of the front panels has 18 double crochets and for the back side, there's 37 double crochets. So that's a total of 73 double crochets. Now to finish this last row here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch and from now on we're going to be working in the round the skirt of the dress so here for the second row i'm going to chain one and into this same stitch here i'm going to make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next and so on one double crochet on each one of these double crochets until i come here to where we have these two chains i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these 18 double crochets. Right here under the sleeve, we have these two chains. Here under the sleeve, we're going to make four double crochets. And you're going to do exactly the same thing under the second sleeve. Just make four double crochets. 
Now we're going to continue along and work these 37 double crochets for the front. When you get here under the second sleeve, same thing, you're going to make four double crochets and then continue along and finish making these last 18 double crochets. I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 81 double crochets. Now here at the end, I'm going to make one more double crochet. So into this last double crochet here, make another double crochet. So that here I have two double crochets on top of this last double crochet. And now I have 82 double crochets at the end of this second row. Now to finish this row, join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain one and into this same stitch where we join, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. And this is all I'm going to do all around for this third row continue and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this third row this is where i did double crochet chain one and i have a total of 41 double crochets here at the end i have one double crochet chain one i'm going to skip this last double crochet and i'm going to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this third row now for the fourth row we're going to turn from here on we're going to work this pattern from the inside out so make sure that you turn this here is the right side of the baby dress that's what it looks like so here's the front here's the back and here's the inside so from here on, like I said, we're going to work this uh, pattern from the inside out, so on the wrong side. Um, it's a beautiful stitch and this is how it's done. So beginning into this first space here, insert your hook again in there and make a single crochet. Now into the next chain one space, make a shell of six double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six. Now into the next chain one space, make a single crochet into the next chain one space, make six double crochets. And this is all we're going to do all around. Here's two, four, five, six, and then into the next single crochet into the next shell continue like this for this fourth row and i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this fourth row i have a total of 20 shells now i have one last chain one space i'm going to skip this space and i'm going to go here where i have this first single crochet and i'm going to join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the fourth row now for the fifth row chain one and into this same stitch here make a double crochet now we have the first shell we have six double crochets we're going to make three front post double crochets chain two and then three front post double crochets Now we have this single crochet right on top of this single crochet, make a double crochet. And then again, we have the next shell. We have six double crochets, make three front post double crochets. Chain three, and then three front post double crochets. This is all we're going to do for each one of the shells three front post double crochets two chains three front post double crochets and then on top of the single crochet make a double crochet and then repeat the same thing for the next shell and this is what it looks like on the inside and on the right side look how beautiful these um, shells are absolutely beautiful continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this fifth row I'm here at the end of this fifth row. This is where we did front post double crochets. Here at the end to finish, we're going to go on top of this first double crochet and we're going to join with a slip stitch. 
and here's the fifth row. Now for the sixth row, chain one and into this same space here where we join, make a single crochet. Now inside each one of the shells into the chain two space, we're going to make shells again. So six double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, and now into the double crochet that's in the middle of the two shells right here, make a single crochet, and inside the next chain two space, make six double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six. On top of the double crochet that separates the shells, so right here, make a single crochet, and then inside the next chain two space, make another shell. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of this sixth row. Continue, and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is where we did the row of shells. Now, here at the end to finish this row, we're always going to go here at the beginning where we have the first single crochet, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows, row number five and row number six. I just finished showing you the row of shells, so now to start you off, I'm going to show you the row of front post double crochets. So to do this row, you're going to chain one, and then here into this first stitch, which is the stitch where we join with a slip stitch, make a double crochet. Then we're going to work three front post double crochets. One, two, three, two chains, and then three front post double crochets. Now on top of the single crochet that we have here in between the two shells you're going to make a double crochet and then again make three front post double crochets for the next shell chain two and then three front post double crochet and that's all you're going to do from here on just remember to always make a double crochet in the middle of the two shells. So on top of the single crochet, you make your double crochet and then continue and do the same thing. Three front post double crochets, two chains, three front post double crochets. Now to finish this row here at the end, on top of this double crochet, you're going to join with a slip stitch, then you're going to chain one and then make a single crochet into this same stitch and then repeat the row of shells. So each one of the shells is going to go inside the chain two space and then on top of the double crochet here in the middle of these two shells, make a single crochet. That's how you're going to continue for the rest here of the skirt of the dress. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the skirt of this little dress. Look how beautiful this stitch looks. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I did a total of 15 rows. So if I count from here, the first row of shells, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 rows. And then I did two rows here in white. So in total, I have, that's 15, 16, 17 rows. Uh, now, let me measure this for you. It's about 14 inches, which is about, let's see, it's about 36 centimeters. Now, if you want to make this longer, you can. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to make one more row, and this is going to be more of a decorative row, so this is what we're going to do. So my last row here was the row of uh, shells. So let me join here again. Now you can do this all in one color. I just did two rows here in white. So to do this next row, we're going to chain, let's see, chain three, and we're going to go right here. These six double crochets, so right in the middle right here, make a single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet into this same space. Again, chain three, and right here in the middle, we have this single crochet, make a slip stitch. 
Now again, chain three, and in the middle of these six double crochets, right here, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three again, chain three again, and then into this single crochet right in the middle, make a slip stitch. And this is all we're going to do. And that's what it's going to look like. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you uh, what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the bottom. To finish, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this row here is done and that's what it looks like. That's the bottom here of the dress. You can do the whole thing in one color and then make this last row here in white. That would be up to you. You can change it however way you want. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make one of the sleeves. Now, this is going to be the front of the dress and this is the back. So I already went ahead and did the right uh, sleeve. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do the left sleeve. So to do this, we're going to do exactly the same thing on both sides. To start, we're going to go right here into this first chain one space. Remember that this stitch is worked from the wrong side out. So make sure that you start here. To do this side, you're going to start here. This is the back side. So you're going to start here into this first chain one space um, here. So here to begin, we're going to go here. We're going to find our first chain one space. So it's here on this side. Now insert your hook right there grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now into the next chain one space here, make a shell. Now each one of these shells for this sleeve is going to consist of four double crochets. For the skirt of the dress, we were doing six double crochets, but I decided to do four double crochets here instead. Um, this is so that the sleeve here is not too wide. I think this here, the size that I have is perfect. If I make the shells bigger, then the sleeve is going to be bigger. And we don't want that. So here into the next chain one space here, after you made your first shell, make a single crochet and into the next chain one space, again, make a shell. Now into the next chain one space, make a single crochet and into the next another shell. And this is how you're going to continue. So shell, single crochet, shell, single crochet till you come here to the end. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row to this sleeve. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. Up to here I have six shells and here's my last chain one space here for the sleeve. Into this last chain one space, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now, what I'm going to do here is the following. Into this double crochet right here that we did when we divided the sleeves, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook here where we have this double crochet before we divided the sleeves, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, and we're going to go right here, right under the sleeve where we have these four double crochets, right in the middle, so I have two and two on both sides. Right here, I'm going to make my seventh shell. So make a double crochet and then close through these three loops. So what I did here was a double crochet decrease right here so that there is no gap between this single crochet and this shell here in the center. So that's why I went ahead and did this double crochet decrease. Now here we're going to complete our shell, so make three double crochets here. That's two, three, and four. So here's my seventh shell for the sleeve. And then here on this side, I have a double crochet decrease. Now I'm going to make one more double crochet decrease here. So yarn over. And then here we have this double crochet where we divided the sleeves. Insert your hook, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. And now we're going to go right here where we have the single crochet and we're going to join here with a slip stitch and we're going to close this double crochet decrease with the slip stitch. 
and that's what it looks like so for this first row I have seven shells my last one is right here right in the center right under the sleeve and then six shells around the the sleeve so there is no right or wrong way of doing this just make sure that this part here looks nice and there's no gaps in between the shells that's why i went ahead and did these um, double crochet decreases there so that there's no gap so now for the second row this is what we're going to do we're going to chain one and into this same stitch here make a double crochet now we have the first shell make two front post double crochets chain one and then two front post double crochets now on top of the single crochets we're going to make double crochets so here's my double crochet and then again i have my second shell make two front post double crochets chain one and then two front post double crochets and then on top of the single crochet make a double crochet and this is how you're going to continue all around the sleeve continue and i'll meet you right here this is the last shell this is shell number six to show you how we're going to finish this second row okay i'm here at this other side of the sleeve this is the second row i did two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets now what i'm going to do next is i have my last shell here and right before we have that double crochet decrease so on top of that stitch here i'm going to make a double crochet now i'm going to reduce one shell here so that from here on for the sleeve i'm going to continue with six shells instead of seven so here if you don't want to reduce this shell if you try this on your little girl and you feel that you don't need to reduce here then go ahead and work the shell in the same way that we did here i'm going to go ahead and reduce this shell here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to yarn over and then right in the middle of these four double crochets I'm going to insert my hook take two loops off leave two loops on the hook and then I'm going to go right here where I have the first double crochet and I'm going to join with a slip stitch and I'm going to close through these two loops that I have on the hook so basically all I'm doing is a double crochet decrease here and this is how I reduce one shell in this row so now i have six shells and these are the six shells that i'm going to continue uh, for the rest of the sleeve so for the third row here we're going to chain one and into this same stitch here where i did the slip stitch make a single crochet and then i have the first shell here inside the chain one space here make a shell in this row we're going to make the row of shells and then make single crochets so here's the shell and then on top of the double crochet here make a single crochet and then we have the next chain one space there make a shell and that's all I'm going to do all around for this third row and at the end of this third row I'm going to have six shells so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row okay i'm here at the end of this third row i have my last shell here now here at the end i have this last double crochet so on top of this last double crochet i'm going to make a single crochet to finish this row i'm just going to go now here to the first single crochet that we did at the beginning of this third row and i'm going to join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this third row with a total of six shells now for the fourth row we're going to chain one and into this same stitch here make a double crochet now in this row we have to do the row of front post double crochets so here we have the first shell we're going to make two front post double crochets chain one and then two front post double crochets now in the middle of the shells remember we have a single crochet so on top of this single crochet in this row we make a double crochet and then again i have the second shell make two front post double crochets chain one and then two front post double crochets and then a double crochet on top of the single crochet 
And this is how we're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. Continue, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you once again how to finish this row from post double crochets. And then I'm going to start you off with the next row, which is the row shells, and then you're going to continue on your own and finish the sleeve. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did front post double crochets. Now to finish here at the end, we have the first double crochet join with a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. And this is how you're going to start and finish this row, the row of front post double crochets. And then we're going to do the next row where we do the shell. So here to start you off for the fifth row, chain one and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. And into the chain one space of each one of these shells, you're going to make a shell of four double crochets. Now, on top of the double crochets that separate the shells, you're going to make a single crochet. And then again, inside the next shell, into the chain one space, make your next shell and this is all we're going to do these are the two rows that you're going to repeat from here on so we have our shell and then on top of the double crochet make a single crochet and that's all you're going to do so continue like this here to finish this fifth row you're just going to go here where, where we did the first single crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then you're going to make a double crochet there and then repeat this last row that I just showed you. We're going to do this for a total of, I think it's 14 rows. So let's see. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 rows in this color raspberry. And then we're going to do two rows in white. And then we're going to finish in the same way that we did here for the bottom of the dress. Continue, finish these 15 rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making a total of 15 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. My last row here is the row of shells. And to finish here, all I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. Now for row 16 and 17, we're going to use this white yarn. If you're not changing color, then you don't have to cut your yarn. You're just going to make one chain here. For me, I'm going to grab a loop here instead. And I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to make a double crochet here. This part is the same if you are continuing with the same color. So here we have the first shell. We're going to work two front post double crochets. This row here is exactly the same how we've been working this row front post double crochets. So chain one and then two front post double crochets. The next row is where we're going to change something. So continue like this, finish this 16th row and then I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this 16th row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch. And now what we're going to do next is row 17. This is where I'm going to do this row of shells and each one of the shells is going to consist of six double crochets. So to do this next row, row 17, this is what we're going to do. Now, as you know, this pattern consists of working all of the stitches here on the wrong side so that the stitch here is created in that way. Uh, if you want to make the shells where they are on the right side, then you're going to chain one and turn, and into this space here, you're going to make a single crochet, and into this first chain one space here, this is where you're going to work your shell, and then single crochet shell, single crochet shell, and like that all around. I happen to like the way that it looks like this on the wrong side because like I said, I plan to have the sleeve um, fold like this. So that's how I'm going to show you. So that's an option for you if you want to change it a bit. Okay, so here we're going to chain one and then into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now inside this first chain one space, make a shell of six double crochets. Okay. 
Now in the middle of the shells, on top of the double crochet, make a single crochet. And then inside the next chain one space, make six double crochets. And that's how you're going to continue for this 17th row. So continue, finish this row, and then I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 17th row to finish here. I'm just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row of shells. Each one of the shells consists of six double crochets. Now for the last row, row 18, we're going to chain three. Now we have these six double crochets in the middle here of these six double crochets. So three and three double crochets on both sides here. Make a single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet chain three in the middle of the shells we have the single crochet here make a slip stitch chain three and then again in the middle of these six double crochets make a single crochet chain three single crochet into the same space then chain three and in the middle of the shells on top of the single crochet make a slip stitch and this is all we're going to do for the rest of this row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you the finished sleeve. Okay, I finished making the last row here. At the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop, and the sleeve is all done. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing I did here on this side. You're going to do it here on this side. It's done exactly in the same way, so make sure to do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the back side, and right here along the opening in the back, we're going to fix this a little bit so that it looks nicer. Now the button holes, you can use the spaces in between the two last stitches here as your button holes. These little holes here are big enough for a nice little button to go in there. Maybe like a 12 millimeter button um, is big enough for it to fit through. And then you can add, I don't know, I think I'm going to add two. One up here, one about here. You can do as many as you want. You can only do one, that would be up to you. So to do this, we're going to go here on this side. So this is facing me. So I'm going to go here on the right side and we're going to work our way down and then go up. So to do this with the same yarn and the same hook, the 5.5 millimeter hook, So to do this with the same hook, the five millimeter hook and the same yarn here, we're going to go right here into the first row. This here is the first row of the neckline. So insert your hook right there, grab a loop here. Let me fix this here. Bring it to the front right there, chain one. And into this same space here, make two single crochets, one and two. Now into the next row, the second row here of the yoke, make two single crochets, that's four. Into the next row, make one, five. Into the next row, make two, six and seven. Into the next row, make one, that's eight. Into the next row, make two, nine and 10, and into this last row here, make one. So here along this side, I have 11 single crochets. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that it looks nice. So I have 11 single crochets. Now right in the very center here, insert your hook and make one single crochet. And now we're going to work our way um, up this side. So into the row here that follows make two single crochets into the next here make two that's one two three four five six seven and then one eight nine and then here 10 and 11 so 
just make sure that you have 11 single crochets along this side too and I think that looks pretty good yes I think that looks better than how it was so I'm going to leave it like this and remember as I mentioned the stitches in between here the spaces in between here are the buttonholes so you can probably do one up here and then the other one right here or maybe here that would be up to you so now I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn because I'm going to continue along the neckline now what we're going to do is we're going to continue along the neckline and we have these chains here uh, uh, these are the chains that we had left when we started the foundation row so now what we're going to do now now this part here is done so we have 11 and 11 single crochets and one single crochet right in the center so that's 23 single crochets here now we're going to continue along the neckline and we're going to make single crochets so here i'm just going to make two single crochets into this very first chain here we're going to make the single crochets into these chain spaces that were left um, when we did the first row so here into this first one I did two and then one into the next then two then one and one and so on here we're just going to make one single crochet for each one of these chains that we have all around the neckline and let's see um, let me see So here we're going to go along the neckline now and we have this first chain here so into this first chain space right here make three single crochets this is so that we can turn easily so make three single crochets now we're going to go into each one of these remaining chains along the neckline and make one single crochet now again there's no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing is that this part here looks nice you may have maybe one or two stitches more or less than i do so the important thing is that it looks nice now i think that looks pretty good it turns easily so i'm going to leave it like this and then i'm just going to continue all around the neckline here at the end into this last single crochet into this last chain space here i'm also going to do three single crochets or maybe two because i already have one here so we'll see how that works out now continue like this all around and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making the last row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn past my yarn through this last loop and the sleeve is all done now you're going to do exactly the same thing i did here on this side you're going to do it here on this side it's done exactly in the same way so make sure to do that so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the back side and right here along the opening in the back we're going to fix this a little bit so that it looks nicer now the button holes you can use the spaces in between the two last stitches here as your button holes these little holes here are, are big enough for a nice little button to go in there maybe like a 12 millimeter button um, is big enough for it to fit through and then you can add i don't know i think i'm going to add two one up here one about here you can do as many as you want you can only do one that would be up to you so to do this we're going to go here on this side so this is facing me so i'm going to go here on the right side and we're going to work our way down and then go up so to do this with the same hook the five millimeter hook and the same yarn here we're going to go right here into the first row this here is the first row of the neckline so insert your hook right there grab a loop here let me fix this here bring it to the front right there chain one and into this same space here make two single crochets one and two 
Now into the next row, the second row here of the yoke, make two single crochets, that's four. Into the next row, make one, five. Into the next row, make two, six and seven. Into the next row, make one, that's eight. Into the next row, make two, nine and 10. And into this last row here, make one. So here along this side, I have 11 single crochets. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that it looks nice. So I have 11 single crochets. Now right in the very center here, insert your hook and make one single crochet. And now we're going to work our way um, up this side. So into the row here that follows, make two single crochets into the next here make two that's one two three four five six seven and then one eight nine and then here ten and 11. So just make sure that you have 11 single crochets along this side too. And I think that looks pretty good. Yes, I think that looks better than how it was. So I'm going to leave it like this. And remember, as I mentioned, the spaces in between here are the buttonholes. So you can probably do one up here and then the other one right here, or maybe here, that would be up to you. So here, we're going to go along the neckline now, and we have this first chain here. So into this first chain space right here, make three single crochets. This is so that we can turn easily. So make three single crochets. Now we're going to go into each one of these remaining chains along the neckline and make one single crochet. Now, again, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that this part here looks nice. You may have maybe one or two stitches more or less than I do. So the important thing is that it looks nice. Now, I think that looks pretty good. It turns easily, so I'm going to leave it like this and then I'm just going to continue all around the neckline. Here at the end into this last chain space here, I'm also going to do three single crochets or maybe two because I already have one here. So we'll see how that works out. Now continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets all around the neckline. Here at the end, I did my last three single crochets. I have a total of 43 single crochets around the neckline. Now, like I said, there is no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that it looks nice. So if you have maybe a couple of stitches less or more, it's okay. Uh, just continue with the next step. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to make here a nice little collar for the little dress. It's optional if you want to leave your dress like this as it is, it's done. All you need to do is just add your buttons here. So to do the collar that I'm going to do, this is where I finished. Now to finish here, all I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. Now to start here and make the collar, I'm going to count one, two, three, and into this third single crochet right there, insert your hook. I'm going to use this white yarn to do the collar. So I'm going to bring this loop here to the front and I'm using the same hook, the five millimeter hook. I'm going to chain two and now into this same stitch here, I'm going to make two double crochets one and two. Now through the back loop only of the next single crochet, again make two double crochets into the next single crochet, same thing. Two double crochets through the back loop. Now so far I have six double crochets. I have two, four, six. Now into the next two single crochets through the back loop, I'm going to make one double crochet on each one. 
Now into the next stitch here, I'm going to do two double crochets. Here we're going to be increasing every third stitch. Again, into the next two, make one double crochet, one and two, and into this next one, make two double crochets. Again, into the next two, make one double crochet, and into this next one, make two. Now, I'm going to continue like this. At the end, I want to make sure that I finish with a total of 54 double crochets. So I may need to do some adjustment here towards the end. So make sure that you continue in the same way and count your double crochets so that you end with 54 double crochets. I want to make sure that these double crochets here are in multiples of three. So that's why we need to count them and make sure that we finish with 54 double crochets. I will tell you where I'm going to do my adjustments so that I can finish with 54 double crochets. So I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the collar. I have exactly 54 double crochets. Now here at the end what I did was into these last three single crochets I did two double crochets on each one. I finished my last sequence here See I have two double crochets then two one and two and then I did two and then finished here with two and two So that at the end of this row I have 54 double crochets So it did work out for me to start in the same way here making two double crochets into these first three Single crochets and then I finished in the same way here at the end again The important thing is that you finish with 54 double crochets, which is in multiples of three now for the second row here for the collar We're going to chain one and turn beginning on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet one thing here these two chains here at the beginning do not count as a stitch now what I'm going to do is count one two three and into this space here I'm going to make a shell each one of the shells is going to consist of six double crochets that's two three four five six again count one two three and into this space here make a single crochet again one two three and into the next space make six double crochets that's two three four five six count one two three and into the next space single crochet count one two three and into this next space make a shell this is how i'm going to continue all around the neckline just making a shell and then a single crochet shell single crochet every three double crochets and that's what it looks like so continue like this all around and i'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row. I have nine shells up to here. Here at the end, I'm going to skip these last three double crochets, and on top of the last one, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now, for the third row, chain one and turn. On top of this first single crochet here, make a single crochet. Now, we have the first shell here. We have six double crochets. Into each one of these double crochets, I'm going to make a back post half double crochet here's the first one back post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on that's all i'm going to do here here's my last double crochet and here's my last back post half double crochet now in the middle of the two shells here i have a single crochet so into this single crochet make a single crochet and then do the same thing for the next shell one back post half double crochet on each one of the double crochets here that's all we're going to do for this row all around the neckline 
continue i'll meet you here at this other end to show you the finished neckline okay i finished making this last row here at the end i just joined to the first stitch with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and then i just hit my ends here on the inside so the collar is all done that's what it looks like it's very pretty now here in the back i went ahead and added my buttons these buttons here are 13 millimeter buttons and i went ahead and added two and as i mentioned when we were doing this part here on the back side the spaces in between these last two stitches here can be used as your buttonhole so i only went ahead and added two i think with two is more than enough so this is the back side that's what it looks like I went ahead and weaved in this ribbon here and here's the bottom so let me show you the front here's the front so like i said i weaved in this ribbon here and right in the center um, i went ahead and just right here into this stitch i went ahead and sewed in these little flowers these flowers are pre-made i purchased these from the wedding section at hobby lobby so you can do the same thing. Let me show you the bottom here. That's the bottom. I absolutely love, love this stitch. It's a variation of the this stitch here that I showed you. I actually prefer this one here because it's more closed. It's not as open, so it's absolutely beautiful. So let me give you the finished measurement. So from the neckline here to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 6.75 inches, which is about 17 centimeters. Now the length from the top of the shoulder here to the end here of this last row, it's measuring about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. And the waist all around, it's measuring about, let's see, 23 inches, which is about 58.5 centimeters. So based on these measurements, this little dress here is for baby girls between 12 and 18 months. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger uh, from six to nine months and up to 18 to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. I also went ahead and did a matching diaper cover. Now, this diaper cover here, I already have a tutorial. The one that I did in the tutorial is for three to six months, so all I did was just use a 5.5 millimeter hook so that it comes out slightly bigger for about 12 to 18 months. So down here in the information box, I'll leave the link as well, or I'll try to leave the link up here. Now, I also have lots of tutorials for baby hats and baby booties that you can make smaller or bigger as always. So uh, I'll leave a link in the information box as well of all of uh, the baby booties in my channel and hats so that you can make uh, a matching hat or uh, matching baby booties. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.